Hi everyone, Anshita the side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn about some most common API testing interview question with very simple and easy to understand answers that will help you clear your interview. Let's start with the basic. First question is, what is API testing? So what you can say, API testing is just like checking if two applications can talk to each other properly. So just think of it like testing a telephone conversation. You want to make sure when one person speaks, the other person hears the right message clearly. And in technical terms, we are testing the application programming interface. That's the bridge that allows different software systems to communicate with each other. So in this, what happened? We send the request and then we check the expected response back. In short, you can say it is testing the communication bridge. It is ensuring that the data flows correctly between the system. For example, weather application check what's the temperature today and it gives you some response back. Moving on to the next question, what are the different types of API testing? There are several types, but let me give you some main ones. First is functional testing. Does the API do what it is supposed to do? That comes under the functional testing. Next one is performance testing. So in this, it is checked how fast does your API take to respond under the pressure. So in that case, you can do performance testing. Next one is security testing. Is the data protected or can unauthorized people access it? So that is covered inside the security testing. Next one is reliability testing. So in that, does it work consistently over the time? Its behavior is consistent or not? Next one is load testing. In this check, how many users can it handle at once? Basically, we are trying to check the traffic over here. So just think of it like testing a car. You check if it starts, that is the functional testing. You check how fast it goes, that is the performance testing. You check if the locks work properly, that basically is security testing. And if it runs smoothly on long trips, that is the reliability testing. These are the different types of API testing. Moving on to the next question. This is a super common question. They want to know if you understand the basic HTTP methods or not. The main HTTP methods are like different actions you can take. First one is get. So get is basically used to read all retrieve information, just like you are opening a book. Next one is post. So post is used when you want to create something new. For example, writing a new page in a book. Next is put. Put is basically if you want to update or replace your existing information, just like rewriting the whole page of the book. Next one is patch. If you want to partially update something, in that case, we use HTTP method patch. For example, correcting a few words in a page. The last one is delete. So it is used when you want to remove something. For example, tearing out a page. So these are the different HTTP methods. The most common ones are get and post. Get is basically to retrieve the data, whereas post is to send the data. Now moving on to the next one, just think of soap and rest are two different ways of ordering food. So soap is like ordering from a fancy restaurant, whereas rest is like ordering a food from a food truck. So soap is very formal and structured, lots of rules and protocols. It uses XML format. It is more secure, but it's slow. Just think of it like filling a detailed form for everything. Whereas rest, it is simple and flexible. It is very easy to understand. It uses JSON, which is lighter. It is very fast and it has a better performance also. So most modern applications today use REST because it's simpler and faster. Moving on to the next question. What are the different HTTP status codes? Status codes are like report cards for your API request. And here are the ones which you should definitely know about. First one is 2XX, which is success, which means everything is good. 200 OK is a request work perfectly. There is 201 means created. Something new was made successfully. Second one is 4XX, which is Client error. The most common ones are 400, which is bad request. That means the request which is passed is not correct. Second one is 401, which means you need to log in first. It means it is unauthorized. Next one is 404, which means not found. That means what you're looking for does not exist anymore. Then we have 5XX, which is server error. The most common one is 500, which is internal server error. So these are some of the common ones. We also have 1xx, which is information status code. And we also have 3xx, which is redirectional status code. So here's a memory trick. 200 means all good. 
400 means your fault that is client's fault 500 means their fault that means server fault now moving on to the next question how do you handle authentication in api testing so authentication is just like showing your id card and there are several ways api check who you are so the first one is api keys it is like membership card with a unique number next one is the bearer token it is like temporary pass that expires next one is basic authentication in which you use username and password just like logging into the email next one is the auth it's like using google or facebook to log in into your applications while i'm testing i get all these credentials from my dev team and add them to the request headers moving on to the next question what are the different api tools in the market so you can answer for manual testing i primarily use postman it is super friendly and very easy to learn it has a great ui where i can see my request and response next one is rest assured if you know java it's really good if you want to automate your api testing then this is again one of the best tools in the market the other one is cypress which is javascript based you can automate api using cypress all right moving to the next one so before we wrap up here are some common tips for api testing interview so practice with real apis you can use json face holder for the practical experience understand the concept do not memorize you can you should know the concept behind every answer show your thinking walk through your problem solving process you can ask question it's okay to ask question in case something is not clear the last but not the least which is be honest if you do not know something admit it and show the eagerness to learn it. so that's all for basic api testing interview question and in case if this helped you please like share and subscribe to my channel and drop a comment below if you have other questions that you would like me to cover in the next video i will take that and i will try to cover in the next session all the best for your interview and thank you for watching av automation hub